everyone. Welcome to Just Read It. This is a program that reviews popular books. My co-host is Susan Stoner on my right here, and our lovely guest is Jacqueline Edwards, who has a new book out. Jacqueline's been with us before. You may recognize the book, The Price of Perfection. And we recommend it. And um, But today we're talking about a mystery writer most of you know, Martha Grimes. Uh, and her latest book is 42 Vertigo, a sort of takeoff on uh, the thriller Vertigo. And uh, well, it's a mystery. So maybe you can talk to us about, oh, I wanted to say, Jacqueline has just been admitted to graduate program in publication. So we are very honored to have her back with us. Go ahead. And this is Caroline Miller. Oh, yes. And yes. she's a writer of gothic novels. Yes. Thank you. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you for taking care of me, Susan. <laughs> OK, Jacqueline, go. Um, well, I, I liked Vertigo 42. Um, it's, uh, I, it, it very had a, it had a very strong Agatha Christie feel to it the whole time. And I've always loved Agatha Christie. Um, it, uh, the story kind of follows superintendent uh, of the London, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Scotland Yard. Yeah. Uh, New Scotland. Yes, New Scotland Yard. That was why I was <laughs> uh, uh, Richard Jury, and he is investigating an old case um, about a fall downstairs, and hence the vertigo, and there end up being several other crimes that uh, he notices that. Several bodies. <laughs> yes, exactly. They just keep building up. Um, but it's, it's a great story. It has so many wonderful literary references that actually set the tone for each scene. Um, and I really, really enjoyed that. And they're not too ar archaic and inaccessible. Like you immediately know what's being referred to. Um, yeah, no, it was wonderfully written. I really enjoyed it. Um, there were a couple of things that I had concerns about via the plot. Go ahead. Um, let's hear. Well, uh, the idea of a, it, it kind of is set off by the idea of a, a nine-year-old blackmailer, which uh, it seems a little re reaching. She never um, taught school. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I, I unfortunately haven't read uh, other Martha Grimes stories. So the cast of characters, which I'm assuming Could is the be same, very complicated. it was a little bit much. Yeah. Um, but I think that's just hopping in. If you were to start at the beginning, and I, I want to now, so that was tribute she, to her. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right, Susan. Verdict. Well, I have read Martha Grimes, and I've always liked her. This was the 23rd book in the okay. Richard Jury s series, um, and I, I would say that I thought that she had a very well-crafted mystery that was at the core. Uh, but I also have to say that I didn't think it was up to the standard of her prior books. And um, the reason for that is that it seems like her writing style changed uh, from previous books. And it was much more, a, a little more stream of consciousness kind of stuff mm -hmm. going on. And so a lot of times I had to check to see who was talking, which usually you, you don't have to do that. I thought, well, maybe I'm, you know, just not in the mood or something. So I, I went back and read uh, one of her books. Uh, it's called The Blue Last. Mm -hmm. And um, and it was much richer to me, much richer writing, much well better put together. Um, the characters were more fully developed. So, and, and you wouldn't have that feeling of, well, why are the, all these characters being thrown in here? Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, I would say um, it was a bit of a disappointment to me. I really expected it to be better. Hmm. Well, once again, Susan and I are 180 <laughs> degrees. I love Martha Grimes. I have read every one of her books. She is better than Ag Agatha Christie <laughs> because Agatha's characters are paper dolls, you know, except for, for the little gray cells or, you know, I, this woman has a cast of characters, which I would say to people who've never read Martha, probably start earlier because there's a rich history with each of these characters, which if you know it, is, mm -hmm. it, is immensely, immensely funny. It was gently referenced several times, and it made me want to know what yes. that story was. What yes. Was... 
And she is, uh, she's one of the few writers, as opposed to P.D. James, uh, who can make you laugh. And the characters are quirky, uh, eccentric, identifiable. The plot was, I thought, a little more complex than it needed to be, uh, but it was pure Grimes and her style mm -hmm. is... It is more literary than mystery. So it is a literary piece of mm -hmm. uh, fiction, as well as having the benefits of a whodunit and uh, trying to figure out who, who, who did it and who benefited yeah. and all of that. Anyway, my choice is that this is one of her better ones because it is so dense and it is so complex. But again, I think it would be a hard one for a first time reader to just jump in. So I didn't know you liked Martha Grimes. That's good. But uh, we, do, we do differ on this one. I, I think mm -hmm. she's just reaching the peak of perfection. Hmm. But I actually agree with both of you. <laughs> um, I did have to look back and kind of figure out who was talking exactly how it kind of influenced other people and that kind of thing, that that side of thing. But I did like how the the it's three different cases essentially that that kind of intertwine, and I liked the way that they intertwined. Yeah, and that's um, a part I did think was yeah. was well done and well crafted. Um, mm -hmm. And and I think the mystery was a surprise, yes. and, and uh, so I, I like that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And the way he toys too with mm -hmm. the guilty party, yeah. and is very and the way they fence. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to wrap this up from beautiful Laurelhurst Village Retirement Center. Um, Martha Grimes is complex in this book, dense, humorous, a challenge for a beginning reader. Mm -hmm. Verdict. I, I still would recommend it. Um, so, is that the red one? The red All one right. is the one that gives it the yes. thumbs up. No, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Okay. Susan, you're the cliffhanger here. Yeah, I think I'm going to say basically, if you you know, if you're a Martha Grimes fan, you're going to read it anyway. But if you want to start with my Martha Grimes, I, I don't, um, or Grimes. That's mm -hmm. Grimes. I don't. Uh, I don't recommend it as your first book. Well, I'd have to agree with that, but I, I think you could probably <laughs> get it. I don't read for Martha Grimes, right. <laughs> and uh, that's it for this episode of Just Read It. Thanks for being with us, and come back for our next review. And thank <laughs> you, yeah. Justin Jacqueline, for being with us. <laughs> thank you. Again. I had a great time. It's great yes. to have you. <laughs>